Hi everyone, it's Anna. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul, a, a second half or, you know, a continuation from the last one I just filmed. Um, I didn't want to make it too, too long, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, this was from like a big mega Dollar Tree <laughs> um, in my area and I had never been to it. It is so amazing. So if you can find a really big one, it's such a treat. Like if you're a Dollar Tree lover, um, try to find a really big one. You'll probably super enjoy it. So let's get started and uh, here we go. I found this um, wall hang or door hanger. I guess you could put it on the wall. It says decor. It's one of those little cute pillows. Kind of has like the jute or hay background a little bit. I thought that was so pretty. I love this kind of watercolor thing. I love the pumpkins. The font is so pretty. Happy fall. I mean, so sweet. This would be great for decorating like a little cubicle at work or if you have a little nook and just need a little something or you don't want to do like a ton of decorations. This is easy to put up and down. It's small and lightweight. I mean, it'd be perfect for that. So there's that. And in spirit of our little family get together, we're going to hopefully have before Halloween, just, you know, right before Halloween, because it falls during the week this year. <laughs> And I guess most of the time. Um, this is called Creepy Cloth. And it's in black. It just looks like kind of raggedy. I thought I could hang it up or something for something fun. Oh, there's Bentley. Hey, buddy. Come on over. Yay. Stay a while, buddy. There's my buddy. That's my son. Okay. So, Bentley's going to join us. You know, I just absolutely love that. Maybe Honey Bun will, too. Okay. And so I thought this would be really fun. Never done something like this before. So we'll see how it goes. This is distributed by Greenbrier. It says 30 by 72 inches. So that's fairly big. You could probably also use this for like a creepy costume and use it as a shawl or something. Or, you know, find some way to use it like that. That'd be so cool. And I feel like you could reuse this type of thing too. So very nice there. I got some more makeup stuff because that's what I do. <laughs> couple eyeshadow things here and the last one uh playful this is another playful by la colors but the packaging is different so i got both colors because i didn't have either one they're very they're subtle differences but they are they were different enough i was interested to <laughs> get both i do love um moby tones this one seems a little bit brighter or a little tiny bit uh, more vibrant not by much they're all neutrals but um not quite as dark and purpley this one is a little bit more on the gray purpley side so love that this one says new and improved and this is by the mercery it says um favorite essentials collection nude smoky these are beautiful i can't wait to try these if you just want a neutral quad this is beautiful i think this would work for a lot of different skin tones um, so it's distributed by K7 Design Group. So I think K7 also does some notebooks. I think I've hauled some notebooks by that brand. I can't remember. I might be mistaken there. So don't quote me. And then here's a second one of those little uh, LED battery lights. I think they run with, yeah, little, one of those little flat light like, watch batteries. So cute. Can't wait to use these. And let's see. This is the LA Colors Crystal Lip Gloss. This looks so pretty. I just had to try it. It says Pink Aura, just like a champagne-y color. We'd see, we can see how it might work for me. But that packaging is so cute. <laughs> I think that's so cute. And I don't know what I've done with my little sewing tin. I, I don't know, I misplaced it, I can't find it. And Hubby found this for me. It was near the checkout. I was looking for this little sewing kit to have on hand and I'll just add this to the pile the little kit when I it will turn up you know those things like sometimes they just walk off and I don't know where I put it but happy to have that this is so nice if you don't have a sewing kit get one from Dollar Tree you know just to like hand sew on a button or something like that totally worth it um this says by Greenbrier International like most of their stuff says tape measure thimble assorted buttons safety pin scissors needle threader straight pins six thread spools and needle compact this is great um, totally useful. I have gotten these from Dollar Tree before and they work great. I hadn't seen these before. They're fabric strips, 100 cotton, I'm sorry, 
fabric strips in little bags. It's 100% cotton, 20 pieces, one inch by 36 inch or 2.54 centimeter by 91.44 centimeter. So this made me think, this was in the craft section, by the way, where they keep like the little fat quarter bundles. Um, these were $1.25 each. These kind of made me think of like the surprise bags they used to do in the, back in the day. Like the surprise for a boy, surprise for a girl, surprise for anyone, which I, which I wish they would bring back. That's a tangent, but um, it's got like a bunch of random little fabric in here. And I thought this would be so cute. You could use them for bookmarks. Um, you could use them for all kinds of crafts, hair things, you name it. I'm sure there's a bajillion different cute crafts you can do with this. So shall we take a look inside and see what's in there? This feels like... I love surprise bags and surprises, so this feels uh, really fun to me. I love that kind of thing. So let's take a quick peek. Here's the first bag. This one's a pink theme. Oh, that one's got mushrooms on it. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my goodness. Wow, they're pretty long. I mean, well, we read the amount or the length there. That's so cute. Oh, like a, a pink picnic cloth. That's cute, like pink confetti. Oh, love that, it's so cute. This one has pink, green, and blue, and reddish crosses on it. So cute, this is so worth it to me. There's a couple of those. This one has cute little birdies on it, all with hearts, isn't that sweet? Oh, you can make bracelets with this. I feel like you could do a lot. You could Mod Podge some of this onto something for like a border, that'd be so pretty. Here's another like checkered. This is so fun and some of the borders are cut really fun. That's neat, that's a little bit bigger, I think, like the picnic pattern. There's a few repeats, that's fine. Look at that, that's so pretty, I love that. And I just love stuff like this, like craft stuff. Oh, I love it. That mushroom is so cute. Oh, look at the one with the hearts. Oh, I love it. Okay. I'll stick that back in the bag later. <laughs> Should we look at the second one? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? We're just going to change it up today. Oh, this is like an Easter theme, it looks like. Look at the... There's a lot in here. This was worth it to me. Look at this cute little bunny. Oh, my goodness. That's cute, look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. You're gonna have to excuse me, I just love this kind of stuff. This is just jam packed. Pretty. What's on here? Oh, looks like little foxes or something or fish, I don't know. I'm not showing every single one. There are some repeats, but you know what? That is more than fun. Because sometimes for projects, you need more than one of stuff, so that's fine. Look at this in the craft section. They have, like, these wooden animals. They have sharks and fish. I got the snake. I liked it the best because um, it had such good movement, and I felt like this would be really fun to paint. <laughs> I guess someone could say it's a... Uh, could be a fidget toy for somebody. It says, Crafter Square Wood Animal Shape, three plus years old. Greenbrier International. He's pretty long, about a foot, I'd say. Maybe a little bit longer. He's got little, uh, the little black plastic eyes or something set in his face. And he's got really good movement. I remember seeing this stuff at like Michael's and it's not cheap in Hobby Lobby. If you want some of this kind of stuff, go check it out. And look at this. Oh, it's a little rocking black cat, but I had to get it. Kind of made me think of Honey Bun. I got one for mom when we were in Texas and uh, I didn't grab one for myself and I kind of had wished I had. So I uh, found, found these again and now I have one too. So we match and it's in honor of little sweet Honey Bun. And look at these cute little, uh, what, what kind of, are these like tea light, fancy little shaped tea light candles? Look at that, a little Ghosts, that'd be so fun. I thought that'd be fun to light, you know, safely, responsibly, whatever. And then they have the skulls. Three for $1.25 is pretty cool. And then we have two more. 
It's another makeup item. We are just all random today. Um, LA Colors Lip Oil. This says in grapefruit. Moisturizes and nourishes lips. Just thought I'd try it. I like grapefruit, so we'll see how it goes. I'm almost done here. Thanks for sticking with me. Oh, here's another one of those, um, that creepy netting or creepy cloth. And I thought this would be so cute. Everybody kind of picked out their own little candy bucket for the Halloween party, but I had to get the black cat in honor of Honey Bun, and I love animals, and, um, I wish we had stuff like this when we were growing up, or when I was growing up. Uh, it's not super heavyweight, but I don't think it has to be. It's a good size, and... I think it's super cute. You can use that for crafts too, obviously. Last things here I want to show, uh, and then we'll call it done for right now. This is by the Fairy Garden figurine section there, like the floral stuff and that kind of stuff like that. Um, look at this. Isn't that cute? That pretty little chair. And what is that? A lollipop? So cute. This made me think of like my grandma. She had a dollhouse back in the day and oh, how I wish I could get that stuff for her now. Um, let's see. And then we have little candy bits and these are like little Christmas ones. Got a candy cane, a heart, and a lollipop with a bow. Isn't that sweet? And the colors are so cute. And then I thought this was cute. Little windmill, windmill. <laughs> Uh, beehive and then a little tree looking thing. I thought that was so cute. Aren't these darling? Oh goodness. I just love little stuff like that. I guess I get it from my grandma. And then this is my, I think this is my favorite. Um, they're little ice cream houses. Oh, aren't they sweet? Well, at least those two on the sides are. And then that, that little shake, I think that little shake in the middle is just normal. Look how cute they are. They're they're pretty small. They're probably about the size of a silver dollar. You could probably sit it in there and see that'd be the, the height of it. So really cute. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know anything fun you might be doing for uh, to kick off the fall season. Uh, what are you looking forward to? Tell me your plans if you want and please take good care of yourself um, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.